Access to health care in Eastern Carolina can be a challenge. You probably know that if you've tried to make a doctor's appointment or if you have ever had to go to an emergency room only to wait hours upon hours for treatment. But for some, the scenario is even more dire and residents in Martin County are finding that out with the abrupt closure of their hospital in August. It is the second hospital closure in Eastern Carolina in recent years. It follows the shutdown of what was then Biden Pungo Hospital in Bellhaven in 2014. There are now 11 counties in Eastern Carolina without a hospital. I went to one county that has never had a hospital to find out what happens when there's an emergency. Driving through Hyde County, you can go miles and miles to get to a grocery store, a fast food restaurant, or a gas station. But an even more critical need can be even farther. We're sitting here in Swamp Quarter. Yes. What is the nearest hospital? How far would we have to travel? We would have to travel to the nearest hospital in Washington, and that's going to be a 50 mile drive. A drive that can be well over an hour. A time that was doubled when what was then Vidant Pungo Hospital in Bellhaven closed nine years ago. The hospital people here used to go to for emergencies. I feel like there have been situations that have occurred where maybe the closing of that hospital was detrimental to an individual. Now, residents here have the farthest distance of anyone in the state to get to a hospital, according to the North Carolina Rural Health Research Program at UNC Chapel Hill. And it means one thing. That time is not on your side. And in a community where fishing and farming are the big industries, accidents can happen, and time can be crucial. Farm equipment is one of the most dangerous occupations, you know, in the, in the whole country and uh, grain bins and silos. Dick Tunnel is the owner of Tunnel Farms. He has farmed this land for the past 50 years. In that time, he has needed emergency care. I rode to Washington a time or two, dehydration and whatever, and, uh, and good service. Um, but 60 minutes is, is critical. That's why they stress safety and are fortunate, he says, not to have had any serious injuries over the years. Yeah, you think about it. You think about it a little. Hyde County is not the only county in Eastern Carolina without a hospital. In fact, there are 11 such counties, which means no emergency care. Martin County is the latest to add to that list with the closure of Martin General Hospital. And people here fear the worst when it comes to critical care needs. Without Martin General, I wouldn't be standing here today. Martin County resident Debbie Fleckenstein suffered a brain aneurysm five years ago and was stabilized at Martin General Hospital before being flown to ECU Health Medical Center in Greenville. Now, the closest hospital for Martin County residents is 16 miles away at ECU Health Bertie Hospital. If I had to go to, to Bertie, I wouldn't be standing here. I'd be dead already. George Pink is the deputy director at NC Rural Health Research Program and has studied the issue of rural hospital closures across the country. One of the disturbing things I think is that we found is uh, amongst the rural hospitals that have closed, uh, I believe that you know the median distance is around 15 and a half miles. Well, 15 miles doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're in labor or when you're having a stroke or when you're having a heart attack, uh, those miles can make the difference between life and death or a successful birth or, or, or otherwise. Do you think not having uh, immediate access to emergency care or a hospital, is it a life and death situation? It could be. It certainly could be. The solution here in Hyde County has been to have paramedics that respond to emergencies and helicopter pads where East Care can land to fly patients out. You might say they've stabilized emergency care here but residents in Martin County see theirs in critical condition. The fact that, that we don't have a hospital is just disheartening to me. It just it scares me is what it does. I'm sure that they are very nervous um, because they don't have that safety net right there in their back door like they've had. Um, I'm sure they're concerned for how they're going to access care. A concern also in Hyde County, but one that residents here have learned to live with. We don't think about it every day. If you live here, you know what you're dealing with. While Martin County continues to explore what it will do when it comes to its hospital and emergency care, the NC Rural Health Research Program is looking at what other hospitals in the state may be in dire situations and financial distress. That report is expected in the next several months.